like I said earlier, I was like, they do a great job at the way, from the way it's coached, the way it's installed, um, everything about it has just been great. It's been easy transition for me. Um, and they put me in places that I could succeed and right. be able to help this team. That's probably the, the best part about all of it. Uh, it's not, I don't have to do anything out of the ordinary. Just make the plays that come your way. Well, last, well, last week, I know you, uh, you know, against the Jags, you had that touchdown, and that was a fade. I just want you to take me through, because like I said, Monday night, you're leading, receiving touchdown. You know, Steve is the quarterback. Steve, give me a little something as the QB and OBJ. I, this would be a dream, but uh, we're going to save this for later. Yeah. You know, let's just be in the red zone. You know, be in the red zone we're right here, maybe on the two-yard line. Just take me through the fade concept of just two ways. If a DB just sitting up there, he's staring, he's staring, staring right at you. I'm looking at dead middle yeah. of your chest. Take me through your approach of the fade ball. Um, I think first and foremost is what I learned the best is like patience. If you get up there, you try and run and get to the corner end zone. It's a short ball, easy to defend. Right. So my back was kind of messed up last game. I didn't have my best game. I lined up. I ran out there, lined up like uh, it's a run play. We're gonna run it in. Kind of lull them to sleep. Right. Then you, you give them something it. quick, and you know that the ball is gonna come up on your second move. Right. So really to be patient at the line, trust the ball is going to be where it's going to be, and then, you know, we got to make the play. Okay, oh, then lastly, if the DB is sitting up here and I'm cocked, I'm basically telling you I'm not giving you anything inside. Is there a different approach to the fade ball then? Um, I think I'm still going to do it. They ain't going to take it. Is they ain't going to <laughs> take it. No, I'm still going to I'm going to freeze you here. Right, right. I feel confident in my ability gotcha. to make that play right there. So I'm going to try and freeze you, hold whatever space I can. He's going to drop it where it needs to be. Well, well uh, lastly, hey, hey, let me ask one question. So, Adele, we used to play Jerry Rice, one of the greats. Yeah. In the playbook, we would have a, on the call sheet, we'd have a little section for Jerry Rice, like, yep. got to get him the ball. Yep. It never, it, we actually took it out because it didn't work. We kept thinking that it would work, and it didn't. And I know that people have been trying to get you the ball, yep. and that's been kind of a theme yep. all your time in Cleveland. How do you feel about trying to get Odell the ball? How does that work out for you? I think that that story and storyline becomes the problem because then yeah. – Anytime something doesn't work, we're trying to point finger. Well, whose fault was it? Was the route good? Was right. it the quarterback? Yeah. And it's just like there, there needs to be none of that. But, I mean, that's kind of our world, and we do that. But this has been – it's not trying to get you the ball. We'll put you in a position, and you, you're going to make the play. But it's not like, oh, we, we got to get him the ball. We got to – So you just, discouraged Coach Sean from coming up. I told him, bro, don't. I'm here to help a team win. I'm here to do whatever it is that you need me to do. And whenever I get those opportunities, I'm going to make them happen. But – when you feel that force feed, it's pressure. Then it's pressure. It feels pressure on me. That's that what we I found to, out with Jerry. Same thing. You know hey, what I mean? Steve. Same thing. You always have time to throw to the great ones. Oh, Odell <laughs> is one of the great ones. Hey, lastly, hey, last week's celebration, Call of Duty. I see you yeah. revive yourself. Yeah. Hey, you got to get me in. What do you <laughs> have in store for us? What do you have in store for us tonight? Man. You get in the end zone. I don't know, man, but I got to get in there tonight, man. Well, I let's go. To. Let's leave him with a star, a fade ball. Give it to him. Hey, boy, this is a man's dream. Ah, ah. Do your thing, boy. Good luck tonight, all right? Yes, sir. Back to you, Miss Cole. <laughs> All right, guys, very nice. Sean McVay, Matt Stafford both said the same thing. OBJ has been a joy to have on the field, and he's been an easy fit in the wide receiver.